everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the winter berry scarf, which you can see here in the photo in front of you. Uh, as well, there's many other photos on my blog at ridgetexturescrochet.com. But uh, I also have my sample one here so that you can see the stitches up close. This is the winter berry scarf. It's a very simple design that kind of has a beautiful, beautiful texture. It uses the very popular Suzette stitch. I did not add a fringe or anything to my scarf. Uh, I simply let the colors and the texture of the stitches show through. So this is a scarf we're going to make today. This scarf was designed to complement the Winter Berry Beanie, which is another crochet pattern that you can find here on free on YouTube on my channel, as well as on richtexturescrochet.com. For the pattern today, you're going to need uh, three balls of yarn. I used one ball of Canyon Sunset color of Woolies yarn by Lion Brand yarn. It's a worsted weight yarn. There's about 200 yards in this ball so you're going to need about 200 yards if you plan on substituting it for another. And then I used two balls of this white fisherman color. Again you'll need about 400 yards of a worsted weight yarn if you wish to substitute. This uh, scarf, if the finished size, is about 8 inches wide by 67 inches long and uh, I'll give you the instruction later on how to change the width of the scarf if you would like. I'm also going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook and links to both of these items are in the description of the video. Also there in the description you'll find a link to the free written pattern that's on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our scarf today is worked in rows so I'm just going to take my first color here which is this white color. We're going to make a slip knot and then make a foundation chain of 31 chains. If you would like to change the width of your scarf you'll just need any odd number of chains uh, for your foundation chain. So uh, for my scarf, I'm going to chain 31. Ten. Twenty. And 31. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working into the second chain from your hook and into that second chain you're going to work one single crochet stitch followed by one double crochet stitch also into the same chain. You're then going to skip the next stitch and into the next stitch work one single crochet stitch and one double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next chain, into the next chain, then double a uh, single crochet, followed by a double crochet stitch. Skip the next chain, single crochet, and double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat it all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, you're going to finish off by simply working a single crochet into that final stitch. At the end of your row one, you're going to single crochet into that final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For row two, into that first single crochet stitch, work one single crochet, followed by a double crochet stitch. Skip the next double crochet, and into the next single crochet, work a single crochet, followed by a double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Skip the next double crochet stitch, into the next single crochet, work a single crochet, 
followed by a double crochet all the way across to your final stitch where you will work a single crochet into that final stitch. At the end of your row two, you come to your final stitch, work one single crochet into that final stitch, chain one and turn your work. You're now going to go ahead and repeat row two, so single crochet in the first stitch followed by double crochet, skip the next stitch and then single and double into the next. Repeat that row two 30 more times or until your work from the beginning uh, measures about 10 and a half inches. At that time you're going to switch over to your color B in the final stitch. I'm just going to go ahead and work a couple more rows and then show you how I like to change color in the middle of a project. Once you have worked uh, approximately 10 and a half inches, now I've only uh, worked a little swatch here, but uh, you'll have worked about 32 rows of this stitch, the Suzette stitch. You're going to come to your final stitch and uh, you'll want to switch to your color B. So to switch to your color B, you're still working in your color A here, you're going to insert your hook into the final stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You can then drop your color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook, and pull through. You're now ready to continue with that color B. You can then chain one and turn your work. At this time, you can also fasten off completely that color A and uh, weave in any ends. You're then going to re continue repeating row two, so single crochet using your color B in that first stitch, followed by a double crochet, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into uh, the next single crochet, followed by a double crochet in the same stitch, and so forth all the way across. In your color B, you're going to repeat row two approximately 23 times or until your work from the beginning measures about seven inches and then you're going to switch back to your color A. Repeat row two in color A until you've worked again about ten and a half inches of color A and switch to your color B, work seven inches and switch back to your color A. Uh, in total you're going to work uh, let me see here, one, two, three, four blocks in your color A, so four blocks that are ten and a half inches long in your color A, and then in your color B you're going to work three blocks that are about seven inches long in your color B. Again, at the end, your scarf from the beginning should measure approximately sixty-seven inches and then you can fasten off and weave in your ends. I didn't add a tassels or anything like that to the end of my scarf. I liked it just the way it was and uh, left it at that. Your scarf, winterberry scarf is complete. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe. If you happen to make this scarf and share it on social media, be sure to tag me. I love to admire all of your finished works. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.